So the year this was released, and colon cancer patients wasn't making the five-year mark. So the year this was released, I've made the five-year mark, and I'm up to 12 years now. That is wonderful. So not too many people can say they actually work for an organization that saved their life. <laughs> but uh, so I am thankful for the research that the American Cancer and many people in Eastern Kentucky. You may not know it, but there's been many, many uh, drugs and programs discovered through research oh, that is saving many of our lives daily. You well, know what I'm thinking. Absolutely. And, and as Sherry was saying, when you know when it comes to what we research, you can go to our website, which is cancer.org. You can see what we research where and in every state. But what's amazing is 46 of our researchers that we fund have received the Nobel Prize. Oh. So we go for the best of the best. That is so phenomenal. And you know, a lot of people under the sound of our voice listening by the way of radio or TV, you don't realize cancer affects the whole family. It just don't affect absolutely. the person with cancer. You know, you got people that are surrounded trying to help them trying to be there for them and you know there's hundreds and thousands of ways that we can get involved you know I even know that uh, women donate a length of their hair to mm -hmm. make wigs and things of that nature that's right and well actually with the American Cancer Society we do have free wigs to patients um, and so they can come in they can contact us at 1-800-227-2345 um, they can ask about a wig we can um, they can either come to our office in Somerset or we can mail them a catalog and we can actually mail them the wig so that they don't have to leave their home. But there are lots of ways to get involved, whether it's through these um, patient service programs, your local Relay for Life event. And as you were saying, Jonathan, children, children can get involved by doing mini relays and relay recesses at their local school because, you know, they can decorate luminaria bags. They can write, make homemade cards for people. They can do lots of stuff and it lets them know that they're giving back as well. How can people volunteer? to be a volunteer at these events and stuff like that. Well, there are lots of ways. As Julie mentioned before, we um, every Relay for Life has to have a planning committee. Right. Because it takes people to know how are we going to pull this off, who's going to be our speaker, who's going to do our music, all of those things. And so just contact the American Cancer Society at 1-800-227-2345 and just tell them where you live and then they will put you in touch with your local community representative who will then let you know these are the things that we have available you know what are you good at are you the kind of person that likes to be out front and talk or are you kind of a behind the scenes person that would rather work on you know the survivor dinner mm -hmm. would you like to make cards for people you know what would you like to do what are you good at and every one of us have something that we can contribute Exactly, and what a feeling of accomplishment when you can reach into somebody's life and make a difference. Absolutely. You know, whether it be helping them like the, the lodging or helping them on their way, uh, just being there as your support and love and care, that goes such a long way with people. Mm -hmm. It does, and I think when you know that whether you're just coming to Relay and, you know, every penny that is spent at a Relay, if you're buying a hot dog from a team, that goes to the American Cancer Society. You know, nobody profits at our Relay for Life event. And so if you know that you're just buying a soda, a soda and a hot dog, you've helped in research. Mm -hmm. You know, you've helped do something. And so together... We are making great strides in, in saving lives, not only people now on the journey, but imagine, you know, um, you know, if two years from now you're diagnosed, mm. you know, it takes the people before us to have gotten where we're at. Exactly. And so we're grateful for, for all the volunteers past and present and future because all of us together are going to take this terrible disease down. Right. And, and Sherry, people don't realize, you know, the effects of cancer, how that it can spread and how you know, it can just take people over, but there is still hope. There is hope, and we're fighting against this. Definitely. And, uh, you know, we were talking about caregivers. You know what? Cancer patients, they can, they, they go to their doctors, and they're going through treatment, and they have an inner strength, but they can't. I've always said that caregivers suffer more than the cancer patient mm -hmm. because the caregiver can't take that pain away from them. They can't take the nausea away from them. They can't take the tiredness and the fatigue. And so they feel hopeless. So our caregivers are just as important as our cancer patient. And, exactly. and they need support. You know what? We always want to support the uh, cancer patient, but those caregivers need uh, support too and, yeah. and people can always do little things for your caregivers at the same time. 
And, you know, even donating blood and things of that nature. You know, it goes such a long way. You know, a lot of people might be on the sound of a voice and say, well, what can I do? The main thing is get involved. Absolutely, absolutely, because it does touch every one of us. Um, but you're right, giving blood, you know, the um, Kentucky Blood Center does a charity challenge in May, and anyone that will give blood during the month of May, if you will say it's for your local Relay for Life event, they will get points, and SNS Tire will donate money to the charity with the most points. So that's a simple way Wonderful. to get involved.